What's up, y'all? And welcome to another session of Does It Smoke Like It Smells? Today, we're going to run through um, our screw-ups in the past. How about that? Our screw-ups in pipe smoking in the past. As me and Renee have told you, um, we're new to this. So we have uh, screwed up quite a bit, and we're learning as we go. Um, that's why we try to do these little smoke sessions with you to give you our insights and try not to... Um, lead you down the wrong path, shall we say. So today we're going to tell you our top five mistakes uh, that we've made in this journey of pipe smoking. Uh, me and Renee might have some of the same mistakes that we've made, or we might have totally different ones. So without further ado, here is Renny G with his top five pipe smoking mistakes. A little under weather today, so this is going to be a short one for me. Um, thanks for coming to the show. We appreciate you viewing. So we're gonna go over top five mistakes and I'll probably do mine like in reverse order from like five to one. Um, and it's not really any particular order, but you know, just the ones that really stand out for me. And I'm sure I've made more than these five or whatever, but hopefully whatever we share with you, you learn from it and don't make the same boo-boos like Royce just mentioned. So number five um, for mistakes that I've made was not learning how to pack the pipe properly. Like you can't just, <laughs> you can't just throw tobacco in it. There's a method to it. And ultimately, you got to find out what works best for you. But what I like to do is, you know, put some in, you know, fill it all the way to the top and then, you know, start packing it down lightly um, and then put a little bit more in there and then a little bit firmer and then put a little bit more in there and then it's really tight. So that will usually give me um, a pretty decent smoke all the way through. So learn how to pack your pipe properly from the beginning. Don't get overzealous. Take your time. Find what works for you, and you should be fine. Number four, and this is because I have OCD problems, uh, cleaning out the chamber too early. Royce has mentioned before about developing cake, and a lot of people that smoke pipes understand what that means. I am a lunatic. I don't like mess and stuff that's like altered from the natural state of things will bother me. In this case, I had to get over myself and my own shenanigans and learn to just leave that carbon in there. So like Royce mentioned before, as you smoke, it burns, um, you know, and it's just coating the inside of your pipe. So make sure that you don't clean out the chamber too early. Yes, you can run a pipe cleaner through the stem um, and the shank just to make sure there's nothing in there, but try to build up a little bit of layer in there to protect your chamber so it doesn't ruin your pipe and it lasts longer. Um, number three. This was a big one for me. Um, and Eric knows we've, we've had our moments where smoking was a different endeavor. <laughs> and we had different lighters back in the day for different reasons. So one of my favorite lighters of all time is probably what a lot of people like, and it's a Zippo. Um, you know, you like the sound? You know, it's traditionally a cool lighter to have. The tricks that you can do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very tricky with it, but, you know, a Zippo is pretty standard for smokers, whatever. However, for pipe smoking, it doesn't really work best for me. And the reason being is if I open it up and I light it, and I have to do this, my finger's in jeopardy, V. <laughs> that doesn't work for the like the process and enjoying your experience. So I would advise get your Zippo for other form forms of um, smoking, but not for pipe smoking. What I like and what I'll probably always get, as long as they make them, is this Calibri Pacific Air. And it's specifically for pipe smoking. See, my man got one too. Um, check out the flame. In the bowl, my fingers are safe. Protect your fingers, yo. Calibri, Pacific Air. That's your free one. The next one I want a sponsorship and a bunch of ones to uh, review. So That's you the get no second more one to Calibri, so we're still That's waiting right, on yeah. our... Uh, well, he did We it. always talk He's about nice Calibri, so yeah. <clears throat> right. so definitely, I picked the wrong letter initially. Um, get one that works best for you, but I like that Calibri. I recommend that one. Um, number two. This is a big one. And Royce and I both experienced this early on. <clears throat> Smoking too fast and not drying out your tobacco. The reason being you should not smoke too fast. You should, you know, because you can get what's called tongue bite. So think of drinking a golden cup of coffee and it burns your tongue. That's probably not a good feeling. You might finish your coffee, but you're cursing at yourself for not taking your time with it. So I would say 
learn how to pace yourself, sip it, like almost like a milkshake. Don't every few seconds, like have a cadence to it. You know what, what was that? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what was that last what? part? You already know what I'm talking about. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, Appreciate it. <laughs> like have, have a cadence to it. Sip it. Take your time and definitely dry out your tobacco. And the number one mistake that I made going into this whole process was <laughs> thinking that the description of the flavor matched what I had in my mind in my wheelhouse for experience to tobacco. It doesn't taste exactly like you think it does. Chocolate doesn't taste like a Hershey bar. The schnozberries don't taste like schnozberries. Right. The camera doesn't taste like a Werther's. The cherry doesn't taste like a bag of fruit. So there are hints of it. They're like, you know, it's not overpowering. Learn to taper down that expectation and you'll probably enjoy the process. It's not, not bad by any means. However, it's not what you think it is. And that's how I have learned to get through this process. And now that I do, I enjoy everything a whole lot better. So those are my five. And that's also how we came up was, does it smoke like it smells? Correct. Because it doesn't always. So Correct. Um, just touching on a couple of things Renee said. Um, one, Zippo lighters are cool. They are dope. And if you absolutely are a Zippo lover collector and you got to have one, Zippo does make a pipe insert, I guess you would call it, right? Yep, you're right. Haven't tried one yet. Um, I don't own a Zipper, uh, Zippo, never been a Zippo guy, so I'll leave that at that. But <clears throat> um, all of uh, Renee's top five are valid and are very um, pertinent to being a smoker of a pipe. We've all had these mistakes, um, and some of the ones that he's done, I've done also. Um, I'm going to give you mine. Uh, I'm going to start from one to five. Um, as Renee said, his number two was drying tobacco. Mine, that's my number one. That's my number one. You are a dumb ass. You're killing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and... <clears throat> As Renee mentioned, he's OCD. He kind of slow rolls his things. He kind of thinks it out methodically. Me, man, I'm I'm out the gate running. I got my first pipe. I got my first smoke. Not even thinking, is it going to smoke like it smells? But hey, this stuff smells amazing. I want to put it in the pipe and I want to light it up. Man, I was putting soaking wet tobacco in the pipe and lighting it up and tongue biting myself to death. Probably couldn't taste anything for three weeks after my first pipe smoke. <laughs> it's just like probably couldn't um along with that my number two is overheating uh which renee alluded to um smoking too fast certain blends your your virginias you know your non-aromatics those well should i say your aromatics your virginias are going to burn hot anyway but your aromatics are going to burn extremely hot so you've got to slow down um we've said it in the past renee and i is Pipe smoking is a thinking man's game. It is a, it's not checkers, it's chess. You're slowing down. You got a good book, you know, or you're sitting out on the patio and you're watching something on your iPad or you're just chilling, just contemplating the day. Slow down, people. Relax. Take it easy. Um, next for me is, and I've, I've learned these um, as I've gone and I've done more research for me and Renee I've done more research for our listeners, for our watchers, trying to help people out is the blend that you're smoking versus the pipe versus the bowl size that you're using. Um, we've we've touched on this the past couple of weeks. Um, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Me paying attention to the research that I've done and learning that, you know, your, your Virginias, you need a smaller diameter, a deeper chamber bowl because they're going to burn hot. You don't want to have a lot of tobacco in there. Your aromatics, you want a, a bigger diameter bowl cause, so that you're giving all the different aromatic smells in the blend room to, to heat up at the same time, to um, express their, their smells and their flavors all at the same time. So definitely research your pipes as you're researching your blends also. Number four for me was um, kind of a... Just fell into it. 
was a filter versus a non-filter. Um, my first pipe had a filter in it. I watched somebody. They were like, I don't smoke filters. Guess what? Royce ain't going to smoke no filter. I threw that thing in the trash. Bam. Talked to Renee. Renee's like, hey, you checking out these filters? I tried it. Now I'm back to pretty much I use filters on all my pipes. Same. If there is a pipe, I will say this. If there's a pipe that I just think is is the pipe I got to have and it's a non-filter pipe, I'll still buy it and I'll still use it. Just like my Peterson. My Peterson doesn't have a have a filter, but I love my Peterson. You know, they have the standard system in there that that takes care of, you know, not having a filter system in it. So it's great. And then um, my last one is um, if you get a new pipe, and this also alludes to the blend versus the bowl. If you get a new pipe, it's not a killer if you if you smoke aromatics and non-aromatics in the same pipe. But if you get a new pipe, kind of think about it before you use it. Am I going to smoke aromatics in this? Am I going to smoke non-aromatics in there? Like I said, you can do the salt and water um, treatment and I mean salt and alcohol treatment and, and clean out the cake and, and get your bowl back to almost brand new and start with a different one. But you kind of want to build up that cake, as Renee alluded to earlier. That helps protect your pipe. That helps season your pipe like a cast iron that me and Eric always talk about. Mm -hmm. So take your time. If you're going to spend the money on a pipe, just think about it. Hey, I'm going to smoke aromatics in this and just kind of stay with that and kind of stay with the same one. Now, I know that gets a little pricey because you start buying more pipes. As you can see, my collection has grown. <laughs> I bought those estate pipes that Renee hates. Says that I'm gonna get no. killed smoking out of those old pipes, but it's an addiction to me. It. I love, I, 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 love I love the estate pipes. So <laughs> yeah, I got um, you. That's my breakdown of my top five um mistakes that I have made, and you've heard Renee's. Um, we're curious if you've got any mistakes that that we didn't list that you'd like to to let us know. Please put them in the comments. Um, as always, we're we're watching the comments, we'd like to respond. So we're just trying to help y'all um, grow mentally, you know, get into something different. Um, like I said, we're not advocating tobacco use to children, but, you know, if you're an old head like us, come on over to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So let me ask y'all a question. What's the, and I'll kind of pose this to the both of y'all. What's the one thing that you wish somebody would have told you, I guess, as a must Dry Before your tobacco. You get started. <laughs> dry your tobacco. So dry. I mean, if, if somebody would have told you that from the beginning, that would have been probably the most helpful thing for you. If you probably. If you, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. With you talk to if you talk to a lot of people who, yeah, I tried to smoke pipes and blah, blah. And you and if you like and they're like, I don't smoke them no more. I, I just couldn't. It, it wasn't for me. And if you ask them why they're going to describe tongue bite. Yeah, it stings, bro. Yeah, they're going to describe like, tongue bite. And that is, I mean, there's other factors to get tongue bite, but wet tobacco is the number one factor in my in in, in my mind that you're going to get it from. So Yeah, and you definitely have to take a few days after. like, Because once you get it, you'll know it. It, it. it won't be like something you're like, I wonder what that is. You'll know exactly what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have to wait a few days to just like, you know, let your you know tongue heal or whatever the case is. So yeah. there's some remedies for that. One, slow down. Two, dry out your um tobacco. Three, um, biotine. It's a it's a rinse. So if you ever get tongue bite, get yourself some biotine. Just you know, like we used to say back in the day, you squirgle a little bit, you know, and then it it'll squirkle. it'll heal the process a little bit faster. So yeah, I think that was a big one. And um, you know, like I said, just for me, another one would have been like like Roy said, get a pipe. Think about what you're going to smoke in it. And there's probably some I wish I had designated a pipe and a blend to match together instead of like just on whatever in all of the pipes that I have. So I've learned the last few that I've gotten to not even smoke them until I decide what I'm going to do with it. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I got a reveal for you, brothers of mine. Mm -hmm. Just came in the mail. Mm -hmm. Eric's going to understand where this game came from. This is... Savinelli Church Warden, boom. See the box. So, so it's not a. We're we're not going with the Seattle Seahawks running back no more. No, no more. No, not a Marshawn. It's, 
It's not a march on. It's not a march on. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm opening it up myself. So you're getting to see it the same time I get to see it. But you know, I had to order it. So do we have a name before before we see it? Do we have a name already picked out oh, yeah, or no? I'm saying, you'll you'll know why I named this what I named it. Like you'll name Hobbit Longfoot. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Do, we, do we do a drum? Do we get a drum roll? Is Girl, a drum I don't roll have a drum roll on the joint. Go ahead, hit it. That's a fucked up drum roll. Yeah, it's my ring. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so wait, so it's got a. Is it blue? <laughs> yeah, son, check it out. That's Boom. pretty. That's pretty. Right. E, <laughs> I introduce to you, brothers and the world, Frozone. <laughs> Woman. Where is my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> he said Frozone. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. People, we're gonna we're gonna have a contest. All right. So my next new pipe I get, and Renee's next new pipe. We're gonna have a naming contest. Is what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, so since we have the grand reveal of Frozone, it is now, nice though. Thank you. Absolutely, positively hilarious. Thank um, you. So now I'm going to flip it on you. One, is it a filtered pipe? <laughs> yep. All right. Is it a six? Yes, you already know. Six six millimeter people for it. Yeah. For so this is know, the what is it? Nine or six wood? millimeter. Is that balsa? Yeah, it's a balsa yeah. wood. I don't so. like these. So these get these get tossed out every time. So this is not not even going back. I use the other filter ones. The um, I'll show them you guys next time. Charcoal. Have, yeah, the charcoal joints. So yeah. Now, but, seen as how we talk about wide, I named it Frozen, right? You, you see it, yes, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's got that icy look. Yeah. So and it's brown at the top. <laughs> oh Jesus! These are oh. this is a charcoal. There it is. Yep. Yeah. And how many different sizes? I'm assuming when you guys talk about filters, that that is a is it a smoke control or is it just? I mean, like any other thing, it's just to kind of help know, it along. It, it's supposed to like filter out, you know, no pun intended, but like filter out some of the you know the toxins and or whatever the case you're taking into your system, cools it down, you know, smoke a little bit. Um, yeah. It just makes it a more enjoyable process for me as opposed to and just. Do you guys up. have a? Do you have a preference? Like, I'm assuming they come in different sizes. Do you guys have a preference of which Six one you found? For me. Six millimeter for you? Yeah. So I think, Renee, most of his pipes are six millimeter. Um, mine are currently, I think, I'm probably more nine millimeter than six. I know my DB is a, is a, is a nine. My, uh, my Savinelli St. Nick is a nine. The two I just got in Crete, uh, my estates, those are nines. So most of mine are nines. I do have now, my my Clark's favorite is a six, though. Yeah. Now, are you able to use a like when you okay? So I guess I'll I'll rephrase this question this way. Mm -hmm. When you buy a pipe, is the filter size a caveat for you guys like do you go and look for like ren you said you prefer a six do you specifically look for or are the filters like interchangeable no like that six is only going to fit a six but i think royce if you get a nine you can get an adapter maybe i don't know yeah so I never Ellie, tried you it. might have you might have one in your box but that being a that being a six you probably don't i have a pipe adapter but i don't know if it's it's got to be a six to a nine because my Clark's is a is a six, but it comes with this little black thing that says it's an adapter. I don't know yeah, how I mean, you would use yeah. it. If somebody knows, put it in the comments. Let us know. Bro. So you guys, when you actually are going out and buying a pipe, you are basically filtering it by the filter size. I don't because if. If I see a pipe, like I said before, you know, to me, the pipe has got to be, it's got to be a good looking pipe. I, I look for a good looking pipe. If I find mm -hmm. a pipe that I absolutely have to have that I love it, if it's a six, I'm buying it. It doesn't matter if it's a six or a nine to me. I don't have a preference on either one. Okay. Um, for me, I just don't want to have to keep buying different filters, yo. Like, 
I get one so box it's convenience yeah. more so than yeah. anything else. I, yeah, you know, yeah. and I, I'm not opposed to a nine. It's just all of mine have been sixes, and I buy, I have mm -hmm. a box full of, you know, six millimeter filters. So there's no reason yeah. for me to buy nines. And My most don't of have the, anything. Yeah, most of the, um, like Savinelli. Renee has a lot of Savinelli. Um, I don't think Renee has anything but Savinelli's. No, I got I got a couple of Petersons. Oh, yeah, you got Petersons too. So, um, most of Savinelli's, if it's a a popular um, model, they'll mm -hmm. have a six and a nine available. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got um, you. And and if that's the case, then usually I buy the nine. Um, okay. There's no there's no rhyme or no reason. Uh, I mean, really, I uh, I'll buy them both. It doesn't matter to me. I put seven pipes in the cart yesterday. Um, like the I wish list was, or the actual cart, yo. I plead the fifth. Oh, <laughs> if you know he means it because he leaned into the mic. Yeah, my man paused like he had an issue or something. But nah, not a man. Ramadan's over with. Man, I got I found so many pipes yesterday. I was like, oh my lord, uh, I, I'm, I I didn't even buy them. I just I didn't even I just I didn't even take the time to log out. I just cut the computer off. I like, <laughs> <laughs> like if you're a new smoker, like find one and learn the process and chill out. Get off the sites because you will. I'm telling you, you'll go broke. And don't everybody's gonna tell you that should have been that should have been one of our top fives. Right. Everybody's gonna tell you buy a corn cob first to see if you like it, to see if you enjoy pipe smoking. Because you can get a corn cob, you can get a good corn cob for twenty dollars. Right. Don't do it. Don't buy a corn cob first. Don't. I'm not corn a cobs are great corn cobs, but it wasn't the greatest. Like if that was the only experience I had, I'd be like, ah, I'm probably not gonna yeah. do this anymore. Corn cobs are great. They're a great utility pipe. You can put it in your pocket. You can take it off. You're cutting the grass. Yeah. You're out and about. You ain't got to worry about Little dropping beach. it, messing yeah. up, or whatever else. You know, it's a great pipe. But if you are gonna do it, get a corn cob that does accept the filter. Usually they're six mil, and definitely take your time. Smoking that because um, and they are they are versatile. You can smoke an aromatic or or non aromatic in it. It is great, but corn cobs tend to run a little hot sometimes, so it kind of off puts the smell sometimes or the taste, should I say? So just just be warned. If you really want to do it, buy you a inexpensive. I'm not gonna say cheap. Buy you an inexpensive meerschaum pipe and get you a non aromatic and just see if you like smoking that way. So Mearshawn, not Marshawn. Yeah, Mearshawn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mearshawn. Oh, okay. Oh, so AKA, uh, uh, AKA C phone. <laughs> it's one of the it's it's supposedly it's the best material to smoke out of. Um, and they are pretty cool. I've I've got my Indian head and I actually I actually was looking at a couple of um <laughs> a couple of Mearshawn pipes in that six or seven that I looked at the other day. So there's only one I want, and it costs a grip, and it's just gonna have to come down the line a little later. <laughs> Did the find a bunch of uh, the, the, the lion head in the, like a dragon claws. It's crazy. Yeah. I did find a bunch of church wardens, so Renee might get a a gift here soon. Maybe I'll yeah, maybe I'll get one too, and we can. Should man, you should get one together. Be way sure, out. So when I come to visit in Italy, we can just sit on a terrazzo. <laughs> just exactly. Exactly. Thank you for tuning in to the Homie Trinity podcast. Um, usually I am the exit, but today I'm gonna give it to my brothers to be the hype man. Y'all close out the session for us today. Make it happen. Yo, I mean, okay. I don't know how many different ways we could tell y'all. It's the Homie Trinity podcast. It, I, I, it, there's no other way to say it. We didn't make it one thing on one site and one thing on another site. It's the Homie Trinity podcast. It's your boys. You know what I'm saying? If you're not already on, man, you're going to be late to the party. You're going to be the dude a year from now. Be like, yo, I've been on them from the beginning. And be like, wait, who are you talking about? You don't want to be that guy. Don't be that guy, people. This is your public service announcement. Follow us. Like us. Subscribe. Hit all the daggone notifications, man. You got stupid notifications on your phone right now anyway. You know what I'm saying? This is right. not one of those. So, again, like the daggone page. Follow the page. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on the videos. Let us know what you think. You know what I'm saying? We're doing this for us as much as we're doing it for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, 
It's the Homie Trinity Podcast. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Apple Dag on podcast. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. We ain't hard to find. All you got to do is look for us. Prestige Worldwide. And on that note, raise them up, boys.